completely. Uh, are you traveling for two months? Uh, what do your family feel about your traveling so long traveling without them? Yeah, I think it, it's difficult for them because they, they miss me at home. I think especially they miss me because I cook all the dinner. Yeah, it's difficult because, you know, sometimes we, we can't speak every day so they might not know where I am and it can be concerning, I guess, for them. Yeah. But I, I try to speak to them regularly to keep them. Uh, what do you want to get out from your travelling? Um, it's a difficult question. <laughs> I think uh, travelling is a really good way to sort of broaden your mind. Like, I love meeting new people and, you know, having new discussions, learning new things. Uh, and it's difficult, it challenges you and it makes you more resilient as well. What's the worst thing, uh, thing that what happened with you? Uh, I got locked in the grounds of an empty hotel and there, it was under restoration and the, the, the workmen shut the doors and I couldn't get out and the walls were really high so I ended up having to, to climb over a fence which was two metres high and I ripped my pants and, <laughs> and it was raining <laughs> but I got out and you know, I got home. Just, very wet. <laughs> and what do you? What are you afraid uh, during your traveling? I'm maybe afraid of getting stranded somewhere, <laughs> not having a roof over my head, uh, you know, losing my passport. What is your dream after your traveling? Oh. oh, I'd like to take a pottery class. I'd like to keep practicing tango lessons so that I can dance in Buenos Aires. Uh, yeah, that's my goal. <laughs> um, and I'd like to go home, uh, get a caravan and go around Australia with my boyfriend. Yeah, oh, cool. So I want to keep traveling. <laughs> okay. So thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck.